A Brown Deer police officer was bitten and punched while trying to arrest a woman who allegedly threatened a Walmart employee. And now the department is releasing body cam footage of the incident. Fox 6's Angelica Sanchez got her hands on it and gives us a breakdown of what we've learned so far. Angelica. Ted, the 18 year old in this case, is charged with battery to a law enforcement officer, but her mother says this was an unlawful arrest. Brown Deer police are releasing the footage of 18 year old Shantarika Johnson's arrest. She's charged with battery to law enforcement. Police say she punched and bit a Brown Deer police officer during her arrest. According to police reports, officers were called on October 13th. Walmart employees requested assistance after an employee was concerned for her own safety. Police were told on the scene Johnson and her friend had recently been to the store and caused problems with the employee. Brown Deer police say they told both Johnson and her friend that if they provided their real names, they would be free to leave. The names were only for their police logs, but they refused, which led to this. On Friday, Johnson's mother spoke to Fox 6. She was not under arrest. She didn't break any laws. She was a paying customer at Walmart. She did not take questions, only read a statement. She did resist because she was resisting an unlawful arrest. She disputes the police reports. She's a student and has suffered tremendously. She says her daughter and her friend called 911 prior to the arrest because they did not feel safe with the officers at the scene. I spelled her name for them and they said that they still want her fingerprint and we both declined. Johnson's mother did not wish to show her face at this time, but her full statement is available at fox6now.com. Brown Deer police declined an on camera interview, but court documents say that Johnson was not cooperating and was not giving her full name. She was arrested for obstructing. Live outside the Brown Deer Police Department, Angelica Sanchez, Fox 6 News. Angelica, thank you. And we